It's crazy. I know. My first listing ever was just canceled. And I'm going to do this on some story time type stuff. Uh, I just want to go through the story, let y'all know what happened. Let me show y'all this quick little video, man. I, my, I was so hurt. I was so hurt. Yes, this is me. This is me picking up my sign. Yeah. Yeah. So let me tell y'all how this happened. Let me tell y'all what went down. I'm not going to touch on the mistakes I made with my first listing yet. Because that's a completely different video. But I just want to set the scene and let y'all know what happened, man. But this is for my people who actually tuning in. Because this is not a searchable thing. This is this is only going to go to my subscribers. But man, my first listing was canceled. Before I get into all of that, y'all know what's going to happen. We're going to get into the intro. Hey guys, welcome to my Kelly channel. This is my Kelly and welcome to What's good, family? You know what? I'm going to do that over. What's good, family? This is Martez Kelly. Coming at y'all with another video. A sad one at that. As y'all know, my first listing was canceled. And uh, I'm just gonna go through, like, like I said, in a story form, like what happened. But uh, before I get into all of that, like I stated before, in, this, in an upcoming video, I am going to have a the mistakes I made in, in, with my first listing. But you win some, you lose some. And I'm also gonna let y'all know what's gonna happen. But before we get into all of that, for you to be notified that I got another video dropping, you know what you gotta do. First thing you gotta do, smash the like button on this video. Then you gotta subscribe to the channel. We almost at 300 right now. And then turn on the notification bell, just so you can know when the videos come. Here we go. So I'm actually sitting at the table, sitting at the table, me and my girl actually eating dinner. And y'all let me know in the comment section down below if y'all want more story times like this or should I go back to more structured videos or vlogs. We actually eating dinner and I get a call. And I know it's weird that I'm me getting a call this time of night. Cause I didn't cold call that day. So I'm wondering like what's going on. But just to give y'all some backstory. So the listing's been up for about two weeks. It's been up for about two weeks. And the price that we have it at, um, and just the property. We had a lot of viewings, a lot of people come by see the property. But uh just the problem with the roof has been keeping the typical home buyer out. And the price range, price that we're asking for is keeping the investors out. So we're in a, in a tough spot. So then I get the call, it's from my seller. And she tell me that, keep in mind, when you sign a listing agreement, the price and everything, before you even work all it out, we talk about this. So uh, she told me that she got a call from somebody saying that I had the property listed at $69,999. No, $69,999. When she heard that, she called me and said that she just can't do that price. And I'm like, but we, we talked about this already. Like, I'm, this is not something that I just decided on my own because I actually wanted to list it at $64,999. But she was like, now nah, I wanted to go up a little bit more. So I said, okay, we can do 69 nine, 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 because that's why I see the property at in regards to worth. So basically she get the call. I get the call. She say, you know what? Um, you list the price of this price. I wanted it to be listed higher. And I'm like, well, to be honest with you, in the current condition of the property, it's not worth that. Um, and also the fact that the tenant is paying such a low price that investors are not wanting to touch it either because, and then on top of the fact that he on a month to month lease, so all of this stuff and then she also state that i also spoke with the tenant and what he said is that he's not comfortable having people walking in and out of the house so basically she gave me two reasons why she don't want to list and i was like i basically knocked the first one out because it's like we decided on this you signed the paperwork so that's not what was really going on. And it boiled down to the tenant not being comfortable with people coming in and out of the house. And also the fact that he threatened her, that he's looking for another place to live. And with her financial situation, she needs that income. So when he said that, she was like, no, uh -uh. you stay where you at. I need that income. And I also need the property to sell more. So she said, uh, she called me and was like, I, I need more money. Um, and this one is not going to work. So basically I came with her and I was like, so you cancel them because it's not enough money in this property to get the amount that you want. And she's like, yeah, 
yeah that's exactly what i'm saying i'm like okay okay so unless you have some magical way of money just flying in you have multiple properties we have to sell one of them so you can get that amount i know you have a duplex and this is one that i think that you can get the most amount of money for so basically making that pivot so for y'all not to just be it for story time but so y'all can get some out of it as well but basically when they come at you on this remind them of the reason they called you or the, the reason they wanted to sell in the first place she need the money i basically reminded her that and said that property over there she told me she got a fifty thousand dollar mortgage on it i feel like it's worth 110 i'm like listen we can get that one sold for 110 we can do this I, I i know we can do this and we can get that amount that you want and she was like yeah okay all right so i'm like so what you want to do i can get the paperwork put together all this stuff to cancel this listing right here i can do that i can do that i can get that going right now but what i need you to do but we still need you to, we still need to get you that money that you need so what you want to do you want you want me to go ahead and bring the paperwork over to so sign the listing agreement for the, to sell the duplex I put my phone on mute and what I always learned, they said the silent man win. So I muted my phone and I was basically talking, basically talking, because if I came back into the conversation and I started talking more, start talking more, I can give her a reason to say no and shut it down. I muted my phone. We were quiet for a few seconds, quiet for a few seconds. Next thing you know, she said, you know what? I do have to work tomorrow. I do have to work tomorrow. So let me go, let me go to bed. We meet tomorrow at my house, and what we're gonna do is talk about what we're gonna do next. That's all I need. I needed my foot in the door, and I got my foot in the door. So, when I got off the phone with her, the next thing I did, and I'm just gonna be real with y'all, like I said, I want y'all to learn from my mistakes. The next thing I did was I fell into a semi depressive state. Just being real, semi depressive state. I'm like, dang, man, dang, and y'all gonna understand why in my video about the mistakes i made and i want y'all to subscribe because that like i said you're gonna get value it's gonna save you money and i am not playing but i was like man this is so freaking crazy my first listing like how can i come to youtube how can i get on facebook how can i let people know that my first listing was canceled and i made a promise to y'all i want y'all to learn from my mistakes so it gave me content it gave me content so next thing you know and another thing this is something i want to point out as well have your support team man on standby have your support team on standby my girl instantly came in and let me know i right, let me know everything is good everything good and that 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 simple shift in having that support cast that simple shift made things better for me i instantly said you know what this just let me know that god got something in store for me and i was like boom let's go let's go instantly change that mind state mindset from semi depression to positivity and then uh zoom into the future i actually went to her property so this makes this video not so negative but i went to the uh, i actually did not go to her house that saturday but i went that sunday and i was like you know what no i actually met at her mom's property so i met her mom as well and what happened, I happen to remember, if y'all go back to my my video, is how I got four listings on from a one cold call, whatever that whatever that video was. I, she wanted to get that money so she can buy a property from her mom to take a burden off her mom and also to get her some cash as well. But I was like, man, you know what? I'm meeting your mom. How about this? So I actually spoke with her and I was like, you know what? You still want to sell your mom's property, right? She's like, yeah, yeah, I do. I said, and are you, I said, do I said, are you trying to sell properties to buy the house from your mom, or you just want to take the burden off your mom and sell the property? She's like, I, I want to. I said, because I feel like we can get a certain price for that price, that property. And she's like, for real? So yeah. So she brought her mom out, and her mom was like, yeah, if you can do it, let's do it. They were actually ready to sign the paperwork right in and there. But I was like, let me go see the property first. So I'm actually going to see the property this Thursday. And um, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to bring y'all with me, but that property is vacant. So we'll do a video walking that property, letting y'all know what I see, what I look for and stuff like that. Just so y'all can know. Uh, but yeah, man. So that one got canceled. And because of, I wouldn't even say my savviness, but my willingness to help.
and always pivot got me my second listing of the year so i got one listing in january i'm hoping to get my second one here in february and uh yeah man just a quick little story time i don't know how long this video gonna be uh let's see what else i got last thing i want to leave y'all with the moral of the story basically is always build rapport with the people you're talking on the phone with and uh, remember what they tell you like being real like if i didn't know or if i didn't build that rapport from the jump have that conversation with her and like i said go back and watch my video on the uh the how i got four listing appointments i'll be sure to put the thumbnail somewhere in here and also have a link in the description box i say that a lot but i never do it because i forget but i'll make sure to do it in this one because you will see like how i built that rapport and how it came back and blessed me in the end so always and then come at come with the approach i'm gonna take care of you that's something that i was telling her and she was like feeling bad that she wanted to cancel this and i'm like no i'm here for you like it may not be now it may not be but i'm here for you and we're gonna make this happen and so yeah man build rapport and be there for them and remember what they tell you and keep it in your i would i would say load the ammo when when someone is crying or they giving you their pain points take those pain points because the the, the road gets tough and you want to always be sure to shoot that pain point back to them to get them motivated when they lose sight of what exactly their the, their reason for wanting to sell with you but like i always say click right here to subscribe and click right here to watch our next video